Well, good evening, everybody. Bearded Welshman John Williams here. Enjoying a good cigar this evening instead of a pipe and some cold, unsweetened iced tea. Black tea, of course. <clears throat> Just wanted to give you a quick update on my son. So I know many of you have been praying for him, sending uh, good thoughts, sending me notes. And uh, so I wanted to update you a little bit of a setback. Um, I'll, I'll do a quick summary and then tell you what's going on. But thank you, Onion, Johnny, and uh, Doug, Curmudgeon Piper. Uh, Johnny texted me earlier today and uh, we talked a little bit about what was going on and thank you for putting that that uh, video prayer request up um, appreciate it and Doug Curmudgeon Piper thank you for texting and sending me uh, good thoughts and and continuing to pray for my son I appreciate it um, I know that Curmudgeon Onion and myself uh, believe in the power of prayer um, I know those those guys without a shadow of a doubt believe in the power of prayer like I do so um, before I get into the thing with my son Mitch let me um, let me just say let me turn this down here a little bit let me just say I've been back to work it's uh, just about a month it's going great um, I don't have pain I have discomfort and that's good Discomfort is something that I can work with. Pain is something that's difficult to work with. For those of you that have some, time, some kind of post-injury and have arthritis and pain with it, and for those that just have chronic pain, you, you know what I'm going through. So I'm doing really well. So um, I'm glad to be back behind the wheel driving truck and uh, providing goods for the American people. <laughs> so, on to my son, Mitch. And I'll try to make this brief in a quick video. Because I'm enjoying listening to the locusts. And the, it's finally cooling off here in Pennsylvania. And I hope and wherever you are that it's cooling off for you folks too. Um, a little over a year ago, my son got diagnosed with Hodgkin's cancer. Now there's Hodgkin's non-lymphoma and then there's Hodgkin's cancer. Hodgkin's non-lymphoma uh, is not always fatal, if I remember that correctly, and it is easily treated. Hodgkin's cancer, if gone untreated, can be fatal. But it is very treatable. So he got diagnosed on the left side of his chest. He had some tumors and one down in his abdomen. And they did treatments over the past year. Um, did pretty good for three of the four tumors. And the fourth one, he went into the hospital for three weeks. And every 12 hours, they did a massive dose of chemo or whatever, cancer treatment. He had to stay in the hospital for it. When he was in the hospital, the first week, I went out. I got COVID. was around him. He got COVID. I didn't know I had COVID when I was around him in the hospital. So, but he, he, he did really well. He didn't have any symptoms. He had very little, very little symptoms. And for someone in, going through cancer uh, treatments, if you know anybody that has or, or a loved one, um, the immune system is shot. So it's gone. So thank you for the prayers on that. My son did really well. Um, so they did blood work a couple weeks back. Said everything looked good. His numbers looked good and everything looked good. And they do a PET scan to follow up to make sure everything looks good. So the left side is dormant, in remission, nothing. But they found it on the right side of his chest now. So he got pretty bummed. He got really bummed out about it. Scared him, rightfully so. And I reminded him that we were told this is treatable. And he can get this treated and... Everything should be okay. However, science and medicine sometimes can get things wrong. So, as a father, I'm concerned all the time. Um, 
I don't sleep good. I haven't slept good since he told me about this last week. And uh, this week he had another, well, he had that PET scan last week. And then this week, uh, a couple days ago, they did a CAT scan because he was having some pain on the right side. This is my right side, believe it or not. Um, and he had trouble, he had some discomfort when he moved his right arm. So he decided to do a, a CAT scan to make sure he didn't have any blood clots. And thank the Lord that came up negative. Everything looks good. They they think that he pulled a muscle, which is what I told him because he's been back to work and he's been doing some lifting and stuff. And when you're out of work for three months and you're sitting around and you're gaining weight and you're losing muscle, um, you just can't go full tilt back. you got to work your way back. And I think he overdid it. So thank God there was no blood clots. And that, that's Blood clots are scary, folks. Um, being an EMT, I can tell you many times people just like that blood clot hits and boom, they never knew what hit them and they're done. They're gone. And uh, so thank God that it wasn't blood clots. And he didn't tell me that's what they were looking for because I think he didn't want to worry his dear old dad. So he has the Hodgkins in the right side of his chest now. So they're going to be doing once a month, um, shots that it's like a like a treatment i forget it begins with an l it's some complicated medication name or something i i i can't pronounce it and it's not supposed to affect him the way chemo affected him side effects but there are the rare occasions and he had the first one the other day and he was pretty sick and he gets him once a month so please keep much of your prayers um I told him that all my friends in the pipe community and on YouTube that that watch my channel that he that people are praying for him, people are sending well wishes. Um, I pass on the comments to him and let him know what people are saying, and he appreciates it and he says thank you. Um, he's twenty nine, and uh, he was down in the dumps. But me being the father, I tell him, fight the good fight. Fight the good fight. Um, that's where part of the battle's fought in this situation. The moment you say, oh, that's it. That's, whew, that's not good. So I keep telling him, fight the good fight. You prove him wrong. Fight back. He's not the praying kind, unfortunately. Um, but he appreciates the prayers. And we have many talks about life um, and God and faith and, and stuff. And, uh, you know, my faith is strong. And I believe this. I'm not angry at God for what's going on with my son. Um, God didn't do this. He allowed it. He didn't do it. He allowed it. Um, and there's a difference there, folks. And we can talk about that some other time if anybody has any questions. Um, so I've been praying to God, and I'm putting my son's health and his life in God's hands. And whatever God's will is, it is. Um, he is the creator, and it is not for me to question why. But it is for me to continue to praise God give him glory and honor and continue in my faith in what I believe so that's hard for some people to understand and I, I get it that this is hard for some some of you will watch this and say this is you know, uh, you know I don't understand that and, and that's okay I get it I understand uh, and I can respect your your views and opinions on that but his spirits are up um, I'm having to be the rock of the family with his siblings um, and trying to keep their spirits up. Um, they're very concerned. So pray for his brothers and sisters. There's five kids. I have five, five kids. They're all adults. And uh, they're all very worried about the brother. Um, especially his, the second oldest, my other son. Um, he's scared. He's really scared for his brother. He loves his brother. He doesn't want to see his brother suffer. So he's doing.
doing well. He's responding uh, with a good attitude, and that's all that I guess I can ask for from him. But I tell him, don't quit up here. And I tell him to pray. God answers prayers. He may not always answer them the way we want him answered, but he does answer prayers. And I, I reminded my son, there's been a couple of times I shouldn't even be back to work. But I am. Because I refuse to quit. And I spent a lot of time praying and a lot of time doing rehab and therapy, self-therapy, self-rehab. Just to get back to work. I also had an incident when I was 21 where I fell through a roof. It damaged my back severely, my low back. I was told by the time I'm in my mid-30s, I would be bent over, arthritic, and in a lot of pain. And life would be over. I refused to accept that. I spent a lot of time praying about it. A lot of time taking care of myself. And years later, they did uh, x-rays on my back. And my doctor said, I don't understand. Where's the injury? And that's when I said, that's God right there. That's God. So I believe in the power of prayer. Because I should be, I'm 53. I should be bent over, arthritic, and in a lot of pain. And I'm not. And I'm not. So... And I shouldn't be driving truck again. I shouldn't be working. But I am. I think God has honored the prayers of the righteous. And has allowed me to be well enough to work. And I'm very thankful for that. So, again, thank you very much for everybody who's praying for Mitchell. Um, if you think about it, pray for his siblings too. And the rest of the family. And keep me in your prayers. Because it's not easy as a dad to watch your, your child. Um go through suffering like like something like this. This is more than just a broken bone or a broken heart. This is cancer and it's serious. And I don't want my son to have to go through a lifetime of suffering. And I sure don't want him to pass before I do. So I told him he has to live longer than me. And I plan on living a long time. So, thank you again. I appreciate everybody's prayers, thoughts, comments. And uh, if anybody has any questions, shoot me a comment below. And um, I'll try to answer them um, as best I can. And again, thank you, Doug, Curmudgeon Piper, Johnny, Onion, um, for always staying in touch with me and making sure I'm doing good. And Steph Kane, Steph and Skip. Um, Steph will send me a message every now and then. I'm no longer on Facebook. I'm on Instagram. At the Re Real Bearded Welshman. Um, every now and then she'll send me a message. And it's such an encouragement. She's my sister. And I love her. And I love Johnny. And I love Onion. Or uh, Curmudgeon. You guys are true brothers in Christ. And I appreciate it. I hope you all have a good week. I hope everybody's doing well. I thank everybody for um, watching and listening. And I've been having some really good comments on my channel. Um, new subscribers saying, man, I'd love to just sit and, uh, on your porch and have a beer with you sometime. And you know what? I, I wish I could. I wish I could have everybody here. Um, but that's not all, that's not feasible. Um, so, but uh, I appreciate it. So let's keep those prayers going for Mitch. Light them up.